Hey, welcome back to another episode of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Uh, I just recorded an episode. Sorry, I'm moving around my chair. I'm trying to adjust my pants. But, um, yeah, so I just recorded an episode of Black Flag. I uh, don't know when this is going to be coming out. Probably soon after. I have no idea. Anyways, uh, so I, you know, I ended the recording from where I had left off. And, um... I went back to where the observatory was and I got the last Mayan stone. So now that I've gotten all the Mayan stones, we're going to be going back to uh, Tullum, which is where we need to go anyways, but that's where that outfit is I was talking about earlier. So we're going to go travel there. Jesus, Ade, what the hell happened here? You happened here, Edward. The damage you caused six years ago has not been undone. I'm not an easy man to call a friend, am I? Is that why you're here? To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. And I have come to feel the assassins and their creed a more honorable course. Have I been unfair? No. For years I've been rushing around taking whatever I fancied, not giving a tinker's curse for those I hurt. And yet here I am, with riches and a reputation, feeling no wiser than when I left home. Yet when I turn around, look at the course I've run. There's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. There is time to make amends, Captain Kent. Mary. Before she died, she asked me to do good by her. To sort out the mess I made. Can you help me? Mary was fond of you, Edward. She saw something in you bearing that gave her hope you might one day fight with us. Aye. She told me. And what do you think of our creed? It's hard to say. For if nothing is true, then why believe anything? And if everything is permitted, why not chase every desire? Why indeed? It might be that this idea is only the beginning of wisdom, not its final form. That's quite a step up from the Edor I met here many years ago. So what do you think? It'll take some getting used to. The second attack this month, I should have moved this village long ago. I brought all this upon you years ago, but I will stand by you now. It will take more than a few favors to call yourself a true assassin, Edward. One thing at a time, mate. <laughs> It looked like he was like collecting his thoughts because we have the Templar armor on, so we don't, we don't have a hood. But he's just like. <laughs> rope dart. Rope darts are equipped with a lethal grappling knife. Uh, with a lethal, lethal gra grappling knife, press Y while above your targets to assassinate. Hold Y while uh, above your targets and use L to assassinate and hang them. Uh, aim at an enemy and press Y to drag them towards you, then press X to strike them. Hold it attack once more. Come. Wow, you're fast. To the beat. What news, friend? Stay close, Edward. Forward. Oh gosh.
Jan Numuk Awo Yetel Abishan. And once more, you have our thanks, Edward. You are welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'll rest here for a time before setting out, if I may. How's her child? She is a strong woman, but not invincible. Sorry for your loss. If I'd stayed in prison, they'd have taken him from me. He'd not be alive. Maybe this is God's way of saying I'm not fit to be a mother yet. Carrying on like I do. Cursing and drinking and fighting. You are a fighter, I. In prison. I heard stories of the infamous Anne Bonny and Mary Reed taking on the King's Navy together. Just a pair of you. It's all true. Anne would have won that day if Jack and his lads were and passed out in the hold from drink. It's right. Everyone's gone, aren't they? Mary, Raccoon, Touch. All the rest. I miss them so. Rough as they were. Do you feel that too? All empty inside. Why are the shadows so pixelated like that? I do. That will curse me. I know my targets by sight well enough, but how will I find them? We have spies and informants in every city. Visit our viewers and the assassins there will guide you. That fixes Torres and Rogers. But Bartholomew Roberts won't be near any city. It might take months to find him. Or years. But you're a man of talent and quality, Captain Kenway. I believe you will find him. And if you're at a loss, do not be afraid to call on your quartermaster for aid. Quartermaster! What's our present course? Due west, Captain, if it's still Kingston we're sailing for. It is indeed, Miss Bonnie. Call it out. Weigh anchor and let fall the courses, lads. We're sailing for Jamaica. How does it feel to bark so loud? I've barked louder, and to men twice as rough. Tending bar at the old Avery, you mean? Among other places. And I sailed with Mary in Rackham for a time, remember? Of course. Mary did most of the captaining, Jack did most of the drinking. Did Mary... Did she ever tell you who it was that fathered her child? It was a young fella. Sailed with us on that last voyage. Poor lad was killed fighting beside us. The only man not too drunk to stand up for himself. There was so much about her I didn't know. I called her a friend. But was I one in return? She thought the world of you, Edward. Have no worries about that. Well, that's good to hear. Captain Kenway. You have something for me? The present whereabouts of the Templar Woods Rogers. He is attending a small political function, so do it clean. The word is King George is calling Rogers back to London. Aye, not happy with his progress in Nassau. Still too many pirates roaming about, from what I hear. 
<laughs> You'll need a disguise to fool the powder heads at this party. I suggest the visiting diplomat, Ruggero Ferraro. He's been on our list for some time. Understood. Will you send this to England for me? Aye. The ship leaves tomorrow. Caroline Scott Kenway, Hawkins Lane, Bristol. Let's collect our thoughts. Look at the Italian diplomat. Wait, I'm Italian. On behalf of the Italians, we apologize. Salve. Forgive the lateness of my arrival. I am Ruggerio Ferraro. Aye, Mr. Ferraro. Not a problem. <laughs> the accent. A toast to my brief tenure as governor of the Bahamas. For under my watch, no less than 300 of our pirates took the king's pardon and swore fealty to the crown. And yet... For all my successes, His Majesty has seen fit to sack me and call me home to England. Brilliant! God bless the fucker! Therefore, hooray! Hooray for the ignoble and ignorant prigs who rule the world with sticks up their asses! Hooray! I say, that's a smart-looking outfit, but it can't be comfortable in this heat. See, si. uh, but Mrs. for Majesty a man of a good taste as ourselves, form must always take precedence over function. We separated almost five function. years ago, and both our lives have been the better for it. Forgive my curiosity, Governor. Perhaps I'll be more candid later, when the remainder of my reason has left. Good day, friends. Carry on. Get out of here! Home! Yes, home! He was a privateer once. How is it you lack so much respect for sailors only trying to make their way in this world? You couldn't possibly understand my motives, cretin! You have spent a whole lifetime dismantling everything that makes our civilization shine. But I do understand. I've seen the observatory, and I know its power. You'd use that device to spy and blackmail and sabotage. Yes. And yet all for a greater purpose. To ensure justice. To snuff out lies and to seek truth. There's no man on earth who needs that power. Yet you suffer the outlaw Roberts to use it. No. I'm taking it back. And if you tell me where he is, I'll stop the man. <laughs> he 
here at the edge of a blade, I find a friend in you at last. Principe, you mad bastard. Our best sources say Principe. It's done. Where now? Grab your kit and pack well. We're sailing for Africa. did this? It were a large vessel. The Royal Fortune. Roberts. Offered no quarter. Didn't say nothing. Hmm. So. Roberts was the one that was there. And now we have a lead. Oh gosh. Okay, my computer just closed out of its, or my uh, game closed out of itself because I have something else trying to happen on my computer. So, uh, <sighs> I'm gonna take a little look see to see if, um, see if OBS was recording my gameplay and it was recording but it was recording sound so uh oh it probably didn't record any audio at all ah oh, that sucks that really does suck I'll just find a clip online to dub over the what ha what Roberts was saying anyways uh yeah I used the rope dart to kill Roberts unless I need to like hang him I have no idea Kenway! I'm assuming this is the friendliest face you've seen since dropping anchor? Is Havana under curfew on my account? Mm, aye. Torres seems to think someone's coming after him. He's not wrong. A monkey looking thing? Is that what I think it is? Aye. Watch. Through the blood of the governor, we can see through his eyes. That's. That's by the church. Keep this safe. Just in case. I'll be at the bureau. Good luck. un asunto pendiente con el tiburón en el castillo. El señor Torres querrá hablar con nosotros personalmente. ¿El propio Torres? Menudo honor. No te alteres, amigo. Esto no es una reunión de sociedad. Seguidnos. Uh... Señor, disculpe, pero ¿por qué tenemos que entrar ahí? Alright, cool. Got down there. Entera en 
alerta por esos asesinos. Calla. Un rumor acaba con la confianza más rápido que una bala. Ni menciones a los asesinos. He oído historias sobre ellos. Espero que te equivoques. Ahí, vosotros dos. Cerrad esas bocas antes de que os las tenga que cerrar yo. Señor, sí, señor. Paso. You're done, Torres. Christ! <laughs> This again, eh? Alto! Quiero hablarte! Ah, uh, wait. You can't score a hit like this. a little gunplay. If you could speak, mate, it would gladden me to hear your side. You humbled me once. And I took that hard lesson, and I bettered myself. Die, knowing that for all of our conflict, you helped make a soldier out of a scoundrel. Leave this life for a lasting peace. Down among the dead. Look 
got word Taurus left the city. Who were you chasing? That vial was labelled Taurus, but held the blood of his second. Where's he gone? Left port this morning, heading west along the coast. The observatory. Will we follow? Send word to Atabai. We've cornered our man. Get the main screen! What's this Taurus doing looking for the observatory? When you're holding the treasure yourself? Torres doesn't know I have it. So why bring it to him and risk its capture? I'd like him to know I have it, just before he dies. Edward, there's a fleet blocking the cove we want. Aye, the Armada. That's Torres and his men. And you're going to do what, exactly? Find our way past them. Who's this Torres? And what's your mind on to earn a death sentence? He's a Templar, like Rogers and Hornigold. Men cooking up schemes to use the observatory for ill purposes. For power and control. The violence he'd cause with this thing would be subtle but heavy. Deadly, yet leaving no mark. Does that make sense? Like, if there was a drought and people was thirsty, and one man had a large cask of water but gave a sip to none, he'd be a killer with no blood in his hands. Aye, like that. Fair enough. Hmm. No, they're here. Deep in the jungle. Holy Mother of God. Is this the place we've come to see? Stand watch here, and let none follow. Wait, what? <gasps> what just happened? Oh my gosh. Gosh, I have been trying to get that so Whoa. Is it? Easy observ observatory is different.
aquí, matarlo. Ooh. Out of everything. and brought these miserable empires to their knees. There is so much potential in you. So much you have not yet accomplished. I will show you things. <laughs> Captain Kenway, ever a splinter in my side. Does this murder fulfill you? I'm only seeing a job done, Torres. As you'd have done with me. As we have done, I think. You have no family anymore, no friends, no future. Your losses are far greater than ours. That may be. But killing you rights a far greater wrong than ever I did. You honestly believe that? You would see all of mankind corralled into a neatly furnished prison, safe and sober, yet dulled beyond reason and sapped of all spirit. So I... With everything I've seen and learned in these last years, I do believe it. You wear your convictions well. They suit you. Torres awakened something fierce. Are we safe? With the device returned, I believe so. What do you call this place? Captain Kenway's folly! Why do you have to scream that? Esa volte su tukila. Cat winning. We will seal this place and discard the key. Until another sage appears, this door will remain locked. There were vials when I came here last. Filled with the blood of ancient men, Robert said, but they're gone now. Then it's up to us to recover them, before the Templars catch wind of this. You could join us in that cause. I will, but... Only after I fix what I mangled back home. It arrived last week. Uh, uh, guarding hostages, any hostages, gonna kill me, anyways. Yeah, that's the face that, uh, you, you, um, you're not happy. <laughs> Hey. In this era, anyway. <laughs> I wish I could explain all the strangeness, but there isn't much time. The short of it is, you saw my beloved Juno. And for a brief moment, I thought she might occupy this tender body of yours. But something went wrong. And now, she's back out there, adrift. Oh, she was magnificent once. One of a race of beautiful, wonderful creatures. They created your kind. Did you know that? Your people were tools to them. That's all you have ever been. That's all you should ever be. One day soon, I hope. For the world is nearly ready for her return. Wired. Prepared for a second coming. <gasps> Uh-oh. Here they come. Those Templars. Or maybe assassins this time. Idiots. All of them. Ugh. I envy you. It was her wish that I be here to greet her. It was her experiment that made it possible for my rebirth as one of these things. Ah! 
Stay down! Get down on your back! Now! He's got a gun! Guide me into the grave, beloved! I am your instrument! Put the gun down! Drop it! Drop your weapon! Clear! Clear! Check his vitals. He's bleeding fast. Check the victim. Are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello? Talk to me. You all right? The heck? Oh, it's the sage. Again. Well, there you are. Thank God. I hope you feel well. You look good. Can you stand? Good. Try walking around. Oh, hey. A doctor came by, said there wasn't anything to worry about. That the liquid in the syringe was far, far below a lethal dose. I feel terrible about all this. About everything. All our evidence pointed to you, but it was John all along. God, the things we found on his computer... It... Whatever you need, we'll provide. You've done an amazing job. Speaking of which, our trailer is finished. Would you like to see it? I owe you that much. There we go. I uploaded it to your database. You can watch it here or at your Animus. I think you'll love it. It really captures the, the essence of the era. So, take care. And again, thank you. I don't hear anything. That's weird. Why didn't it have audio? Uh, and, well, what now? Talk, you idiot! Look at the light! Isn't that the battery? I think that's the battery. Oh, Hello? hey. Hello? Ah, <clears throat> Look, sorry about this. Uh, my name is Sean, and uh, back there is Rebecca, my partner uh, in crime. Hello! Bloody good work earlier, honestly, I mean it. Delivering us all that data. It's just too bad that our man on the inside was such a, um, <laughs> uh, how, how, how to put it? Fanatic. Fanatic is the best word, I suppose. We take who we can get. Exactly, exactly. Well put. Uh, we saw in John an opportunity to burrow deeper into Abstergo's cloud servers, and I'm not ashamed to say we took it. Uh, not realizing, of course, that he was enlisting you to help him. And to blame, should anything go wrong. I suppose it all worked out very nicely in the end. Most of it, anyway. What Sean really wants to say is, if you're up for more hacking, we are too. John gave you level 3 security clearance before he died. You should use it. The assassins don't have the resources to pay you like the Templars do, but we'll make it worth your while. Ah, look, we should really cut it short, Bex. 20 seconds. All right. Good luck. Cheers, mate. And top-notch work. Really top -notch. Give yourself a pat on the back. And happy hacking. Cool. All right, well, uh, I think I'm going to... Uh, actually, I'm not going to leave it off here just yet because I want to you know, go in the Animus and then maybe there'll be like, a good cut. Uh, I'm going to try to do some hacking. Gentlemen, how do you find it here? It will work for us. But our goal must be to scatter our operations. To live and work among the people we protect, just as Altairi Ben Lahad once counseled. Well, until that time, it's yours as you see fit. Edward, Captain Woods Rogers survived his wounds. He has since returned to England, shamed and in great debt, but no less a threat. I will finish that job when I return. 
You have my word. Evening, Anne. Edward? I'll be sailing for London in the next few months. I'd be a hopeful man if you were beside me. <laughs> England's the wrong way around the globe for an Irish woman. Will you stay with the assassins? No, I haven't got that kind of conviction in my heart. You? In time, I. And my mind is saddled and my blood is cooled. Sail ho! Coming into the cove! You're a good man, Edward. And if you learn to keep settled in one place for more than a week, you'll make a fine father too. Wow, that was it. Well, it's a good thing I didn't end it off in the office. I didn't know this was gonna be the end. Um. The Jackdaw is a ship, Jenny, not a boat. But did you always know? No. No, I learned after leaving Bristol. After you left Mother? Well, I didn't leave your... I didn't leave without saying goodbye, that is. It was an arrangement, you see, between your mother and me. She said you left her. She said you always talked about sailing the boat and making money in the new world. I did always want to sail a ship, that's true, but not for a lark, to support us, to take care of her, and you. Not me. Mother said you didn't know about me. She said you worked only once a year, and that she never knew where to find you. That's all true, and I'm sorry for that. If I'd known earlier, I don't know, I might have come home. I hope that I would have. Well, you were busy. That's what I think. I was, but that wouldn't have mattered. 
Can I steal your boat? Boat? I see no boat here. Do you? I mean ship, obviously. I don't see the difference anyway. Ah, it's a very simple one, Jenny. A ship can carry a boat, but a boat cannot carry a ship. Why then, everything is a ship. Large and small. But for my toy boat, the one I take into the bath with me. <laughs> well, that's a clever way of seeing it. Is it hard to talk about Caroline, Jenny? About your mother? Mm, no. She passed some years ago. I miss her, but it's all right. Was she in pain? I don't know. I don't think so. She was very happy for quite some time. Then, not so happy. I didn't see her much after that. Then, she was gone. I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. It's all right. You're here now. And we're on an adventure. Uh, only a little one, I hope. Can't handle too many more surprises. Do you think we'll see a whale? Yes, there's a very good chance. Hmm. And what about pirates? Will I see pirates? No. Not much chance of that, I think. Oh, uh, that's rather sad. I should have liked to have seen one. Tell you what, Jenny. As soon as these winds die a little, I'll let you steer the jackdaw. One little trick at the helm before sundown. Yay! <laughs> Miss Jennifer Kenway, may I introduce myself? Jennifer Scott, if you please. I'm sorry, I... I... Uh... My daughter was raised by her mother, Caroline, until she passed away some years ago. Jenny prefers to use her surname to mine. Ah, please forgive my ignorance. I will. She may not. Father, help me. This little rascal, however, is a Kenway. What's wrong, Haven? I can't see the stage. Up we go. How's that? Fine. But won't your arms tire? Hey, I'm not so old as that. But if they do, then we shall quit this posh gig and go and meet your mother for some chocolate and whites. How's that sound? Yes, please. Okay, hush now.
Well, that is the end of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Uh, apparently it's not over for me. What is this? Oh, uh, this must be over in uh other place. Well, I guess I still have some work to do. Um, yeah, but this this will be the end of Assassin's Creed Black Flag for y'all. Uh, but it won't be for me because. I think I have some stuff to keep me busy for a while. Plus, I have other Assassin's Creed games that I want that are dying <laughs> to be played. Um, yeah, that, uh, that's basically the end of this video. Uh, for watching it, I won't in the next like video. <laughs> I don't know what Assassin's Creed I'll be playing. Uh, but you'll see it in, in time. All right. Well, um, yeah. Thank you.